Well, it was a trip that she had been dreaming about, she says, since she was born. Dr. Cyan Proctor, a Valley Science professor, was on board the first ever civilian trip to space last September. Her experience in particular it was special as we celebrate Black History Month and look ahead to the next civilian missions to space. And now that she's back at home in the Valley, I talked to her about her plans as she continues to inspire others through her love of science and art. It's about space to inspire for all of humanity. Dr. Cyan Proctor. Three. Changing the face. Two. And voice. One. Of Zero. space travel. Zero. Ignition. Sending us out on the explorer's path. But don't forget the arts, the heartbeat of time. Consider sending a poet who knows how to rhyme. The geoscientist, professor, astronaut, pilot, and artist, combining her skills as she went into orbit. I just feel so lucky that I got that opportunity. She calls her art Afrofuturism, depicting what she calls the Jedi space. A just, equitable, diverse, and inclusive space. Because that's the ultimate goal, is to bring everyone along on this journey with us. I feel like I found my authentic voice through art and poetry, where I can express things that I'm feeling that I haven't been able to in the past. Her past leading her to where she is today. And, and I remember when I was a little girl, there were no black ast female astronauts, zero. Dr. Mae Jameson did not fly until 1993. Long before Jameson took to the skies, Dr. Proctor's father, Ed, would do the seemingly impossible for a black man in the 1950s. So I was born on Guam because my dad worked at the NASA tracking station during the Apollo missions. Landing a job at NASA when he was 19 with no college education, he taught himself calculus and physics and inspired his daughter to live out her dreams. And so my dad passed away when I was 19, so I never got to really uh, talk to him about all the crazy things that he did during that time, how he contributed to the advancement of human spaceflight. Dr. Proctor credits her father's words. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's what he said when I was a kid, you can do anything. You can't do everything because mm -hmm. there's just so many things to do, but you can do anything. Now, at 51 years old, she's finding she's the inspiration for a new generation. That's the greatest gift to have, particularly as, as a teacher. I've been trying to inspire the next generation to dream big uh, my entire career. Mm -hmm. And so now to be that, that role model and to be able to know that I'm impacting people around the world yeah. where they say, wow, look at what she did. I wanna be a pilot of a spacecraft. Yes. And, and that just fills me with joy. Wow, what's next for her? She is mo doing some motivational speaking now. Yeah. So she has a new leadership role at Maricopa uh, yeah. County Community Colleges where she was a geoscience professor. Yeah. So now uh, she has a leadership role there. She's doing motivational speaking. She's doing her art. She's doing her poetry, all of that. And she had a special conversation when she was in space. She did a couple of highlights for her while she was in space. Well, first, before she took off, Michelle Obama called right. her former first lady. And then she got to talk to Bono for 15 minutes while she was in space. And she's a poet on top of it. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah.